you have a most memorable or favorite moment, set, experience from Frail that has impacted you in any sort of capacity? Oh man, I have one. I have one. Like it was more of like a oh my gosh. I saw Gina like a like a sleeveless. They're more like they're more like neutral colors being used. For real has always been here. We always look forward to those like iconic for real moves. It's always there. You know, like yeah. like that and then slow down. <laughs> and then the attacking porcupine, that, that's what we call it. And we're just like going down. Oh, yeah, 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 like this. And then explode up. <laughs> yeah. I remember you guys were like blue and it was all like watery, like windy or something. The movement quality and just the maturity having like just this like extra bit of quality to it. I didn't even want to judge. <laughs> I was just like, I just want to sit and enjoy this. Like one of my favorite sets that I've seen was last year's Hit the Floor. I feel like that was like uh, another like kind of like evolution of what uh, For Real's uh, artistry was, especially looking at props, especially being in a much bigger stage. Like definitely one of my favorite sets that I've seen, especially because I can remember it so, so well. I could see the colors, I could see the palettes. As you guys know, I feel like For Real has pushed the envelope ever since that transition, I think in 2014, 2015. You guys had this like already MJ vibe, and I was like, they do MJ, they either gonna kill it, or they like ruin it. And then you didn't even do MJ, I was like, <gasps> it was the cigarette set! Oh my gosh! I think that was almost like a turning point for For Real, almost, where like, I think everything that followed after that was like, it just got better and better each year, and every year we were like, oh, oh! And then we were like, oh! All the creative heads and all the creative directors decided to go a different direction from what they've been doing before. And it was so fun to see that. I just felt like we were so close, but so far, we never got anything. And I wanted to like be part of something and give that to this team that's been giving so much to me. So when we finally got first, I was like, this is crazy. Like I, I like lost it. I was just like, <laughs> Lost in the world? It was like the dreamer and the realist. Realist. Yeah, I really like that one. I almost lost my mind. Uh, I don't think that's an energy that I, I don't know if I'll ever feel again in my life. I hope to feel it, but that's one moment that I'm, I really like hold close to me. And I'll still go back and watch that just to like remind myself that I really enjoy dance for what it is. I think it really spoke to me. And then when I saw it, I was like, damn, I was like, whoa. For me, my head was, I like as an audience member, my head popped. I was like, this is amazing. Freaking, was it B-Town? Yeah, that was crazy. I don't think I was in C2 at the moment. Did, did, you, guys, did you guys beat us? You did. Um, there's another one, I think it was in Ouch 2012, where they did uh, like a violence set. That was a great song where it's like, war, from violence, it's stuff. It was a first taste of uh, being able to do something with uh, a message. It's really cool that they use this platform to talk about something that's like more than just dance. And I think that um, that to me is super inspiring. I remember crying after because I was just so ecstatic. It, 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 I, yeah, I was like, yeah. We were just so like happy that like people would receive the message and people really enjoyed it. But if I had to pick one, I would say Beat Down 2015. One specific moment for me was when there was just there was just these really hard beats. There was a clump on the side. Those beats were just oh man, that was real. That was real. That was real for me. I was like, and that was through like a screen. I will never forget about that dance ever in my entire life, like ever. I can watch that video now and, and, still, and cry. still cry at the end. <laughs> just seeing everyone at the end just come together, it, it was just so heartwarming. We didn't really know how we were gonna end, like, yeah. we're just like, we're just gonna come together. Yeah. Like, that's all we ever left it at, but, like, on that day of, like, on stage, it was like, I think Martin grabbed my hand and was, like, pulling me this way, and then someone else had their arm, like, choking me, like, this way, and, like, everyone's, like, crying and sweating on me, Heck. but I was, like, also, like, doing the same thing, Heck. it was just, like, yeah. such a, like, random, unexpected, like, authentic moment, like, even yeah. though we knew we were gonna come together, I was, like, I didn't know it'd feel like this. And I think the message that we had for that piece and the way that Jean, Bernice, and JR really characterized their particular type of characters. <sighs> they they did they did really they just did really well and such a core memory. Like when I remember it, like I still kind of remember all the details of when it happened. I felt like the team deserved this so much. Like to give everybody back that kind of feeling. It was it was so nice to see. For real is that one moment that you can just really sit and breathe with them. A lot of competing teams, I think they sell the very musical, very approach and in being uh, multi-style. This is for real, I found that it was that very theme based where you have 
that theme, but you follow through deep into that theme. How much intention is put behind each movement and each breath? So I find when I was watching you guys, I was like, yo, this is dope. Like, it really looks like that's what you guys are trying to portray. It was like, this is the theme, and this is like, it's the mood I felt. It was like so pure. I can feel it. Like, as the time is going by, like, you guys are choosing your sets and choosing your stories to push up a certain boundary every time. After um, dancing hit the floor, after NSS, just like in the position where I was looking back at everything that the team has accomplished and we can leave something behind that it's, I know for sure it's in good hands. It's amazing when you can take something so artistic and still have such a, like that message to be shared in that kind of way. You guys kind of keep a storyline and I don't know who choreographs it or who thinks out the theme, but I think that's your guys' vision is like, you guys like to like create stories, right? It's like in-depth stories, but it's like, maybe it's personal, maybe it's not personal. I don't know, but the fact that it's, it reaches like that or it reads like that makes people read it more personal because it's something you can relate to. It's, it's an energy and it's, it's a whole atmosphere that, that is just unexplainable, you know? And it's, it's just those magical moments, right? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah.